Clinton's bad week kicked off Sunday, August 21st, when her backer slammed the foundation. Clearly need to change the way they do business. Then Colin Powell said Clinton had been trying to pin her email scandal on him. Ouch. Donald Trump was praised by Louisiana's governor for... Down a spotlight on Louisiana. Meanwhile, Clinton was at a fundraiser with Cher. On Monday, new emails showed Clinton's top aide setting up meetings for a foundation donor, the Crown Prince of Bahrain. After it appears... The Crown Prince has already gone through official channels and has come up empty on this. We learned the FBI turned over 15,000 more documents to state. Uh Uh-oh is right. Clinton then said this. So what's a few more? Which was met with this. She should not joke about this. Bill announced the foundation shakeup, only prompting more questions. Why not do this earlier? Why were these arrangements acceptable when she was Secretary of State? Meanwhile, Clinton was in L.A. fundraising with Magic Johnson. Tuesday was dominated by more of Clinton's shadiness. Turns out Huma Abedin, remember her, was flying on private jets courtesy of foundation donors while she was a state employee. But what ruled the day was the AP story showing that over half of the non-government people who met with Clinton at state were foundation donors. This is simply a question of access. But Clinton's fundraiser went really well. By Wednesday, the Journal reported that Bill's supposed foundation shakeup was not too much of a change at all. So Chelsea's still in. And they're now doing exceptions. They cannot help themselves. Then Clinton did a damage control interview where her response to not holding a press conference in 263 days was... So, you know, stay tuned. On Thursday, we woke up with editorials like this and this. Clinton's late night answer on hiding from the press was met with this. What's wrong with answering questions? And this... It's crazy. I mean, it just is. It's just it's just wrong. Even Clinton's Democratic supporters weren't buying it. I'd love to see her do more press conferences.